Welcome to Upper Room Devotion. Today is June 23, and we are on the topic of the Holy Spirit and works of the Holy Spirit. In these videos that we put up on Tuesdays and Saturdays, we add on some insights as the Lord has spoken to us, pray for the scripture with you in light of our community. This is more of a prophetic and encouraging prayer time in ministry for all of us. We want to hear what the Lord says to our church, our city, and our nation. If you have not yet read the passage for today, please pause the video now and read the passages, which today is Acts 2, uh, 1 to 13, and Psalm 143. And do the three section notes the grace of God, open my heart, and declare his promises. Then also do the three prayers the upward prayer, the inward prayer, and the outward prayer before continuing this video. Today, reading these passages, I really drew this connection between these imageries if I read the psalm first, that is, reading about David's prayer and plea for deliverance. There's just so much color about his human weakness, and in verse 10 it speaks about needing God's spirit to lead him. Whatever he intended to mean by that, when we look forward to Acts 2, we do read about the coming of the Holy Spirit that fills God's people and continues this work to this day. And it seems so amazing to me because we no longer have the doubt if our God is far away, but only wonder if we realize that he is close. So now at this time, let us go into our prayer and pray to the Lord through the scripture. Heavenly Father, thank you for another day, for giving us the gift of the Holy Spirit. Tongues from every nation tells of your mighty works throughout the generations that we read and hear and witness. You are our God that is faithful and righteous, and we praise you for all that you have done and can't ever finish pondering the work of your hands. Lord, we are your servant and hear of and want to hear more of your steadfast love. You know the way we should go, and the one that delivers us on level ground. Our souls are like a parched land that thirsts for you. We want to confess to you our weaknesses right now. Lord, we need your Holy Spirit to guide us every day, to water us, to deliver us, to be our refuge. We are so weak without you. Without you, our lives are crushed into the ground, and we are sitting in the darkness. Lord, forgive us when we mock those who are sent by you, when we hear the truth but close our ears and continue hurting our communion with you, thinking that we can make it on our own, when we don't want to give up our way, when we want to serve two masters. Lord, soften our hearts and rouse our spirit to be sensitive to you. Help us be aware through the Holy Spirit and reveal to us what we have hidden through our pride and lead us on level ground. We now declare the promises we hear through the scripture. Father, we are in awe of your promises. It says, you will cut off my enemies and destroy all the adversaries of my soul. One day we will be lifted out of the darkness and we will have peace. We remember the days of old. We need your grace again, just like when you delivered us before, when we have fled to you for refuge. For your name's sake, Lord, preserve us this time as well. Thank you, Lord, for the Holy Spirit that continues to push us forward to fulfill your will for our lives in our church. As the church community, let us be the people of God actively seeking for your words and your presence. Let us be the church that desires the guidance of the Holy Spirit. Father, make known of your steadfast love as we live out this day with our ears turned to you. In Jesus' name, amen. 